advice on doing your own taxes? How did you pluck up the courage to go self-employed? Is there still any regrets? What exactly do you do as a job now? Just work, children. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. If you're new, my name is Joanna Wilson and I am officially a polar bear. It's getting cold in Five Eye and therefore a polar bear outfit has come out in full force. And you'll find me wearing this for the next six months <laughs> until it gets warm again. But that is not why we're filming the video today. Today I am chatting about my first year as a person who's been fully self-employed. So it has been officially a year since I had my last day at my employee's job at Newton and a year ago I took the plunge in becoming self-employed. So first question, how did you pluck up the courage to go self-employed? I think this is a really good question because I think the society that we live in at the minute very much like digs up and praises like hustle culture and working for yourself and quit your job and live your dream. But I think it's so important to highlight that it's not something I took lightly. It's not a decision I took lightly whatsoever. And I don't actually think it's about plucking up the courage to do it. I think it's about ensuring that you're in a financially safe space and you've got contingencies and plans in place to be able to do it. I didn't just think one day I don't want to work here anymore and then quit my job. I took it very seriously. I've got a mortgage, I've got bills, waited. That's why I worked for as long as I did uh, because I was still doing the content. I was still doing the management. I was still doing doing the social media uh, the social media and the uh, running my own business before I started my job at Newton but I waited until the time that I did to ensure that I could earn a living off it to ensure that I could pay my bills pay my mortgage that I was fully ready to go and basically I got to a point as well where I wasn't able to maintain both so it very much wasn't a pluck up the courage do it and then think what's next it was there was a period of time where both were coexisting and I ensured that I was really really sure that it was going to be the right thing for me to do then doing it it wasn't anything about fucking up courage because it was actually dead easy to do it because i knew that i was going to be okay so yeah that's answer to the first question next question advice on doing your own taxes maybe a cop-out answer but get an accountant <laughs> like the money that you pay an accountant to sort out your books and your taxes for you in my opinion is 100 percent worth not having the stress of having to do it yourself so that's why what exactly do you do as a job now so we've touched upon it slightly but i'll just go into it again so i work so primarily youtube but also tiktok and instagram um i can and do make money through youtube adsense and then also from working with brands on all of the social media platforms the second thing is i run a tutoring business so i tutor students one-to-one -one for gcse maths and science as well as having monthly subscriptions for GCSE GCSE Maths and Science and A-Level Biology. What also falls under my tutoring business are my products, which are very, 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 very soon going to be new products coming out. So those products will be coming out on Black Friday and for the whole of Black Friday weekend, so Friday, Saturday and Sunday, they'll be 40% off everything on the Just Work site, which is fucking so exciting. And I'm buzzing about that. So that falls under business and Just Work. And as also in that, I run a morning routine program. Uh, that's for absolutely anyone not just students, people who want to level up their mornings and level up their lives. Finally, I work in management. So I work with a guy called Luke Sutton, who's been on this channel a couple of times before. He runs Activate Client Management and I support him and have some of my own clients that I manage as well. Next question then. Interesting question. Have you earned more or less or does that matter? So firstly, I'd say it doesn't matter. I absolutely love my job and what I do. I am not very money driven. I live a nice life. I like I definitely live an above average life and I do nice things and I pay for that but I'm not really driven by being filthy rich or anything like that I believe money comes and goes I believe we should spend our money on things that we want to spend our money on and it just so happens that the thing that I love spending my money on is my loved ones and also on trips and experiences and things to do I've probably earned um I'd have to do some math 
it's probably earned a little bit more but again I've not really changed apart from I've done a lot more traveling but I've not really changed sort of the way I live or my spending habits because I've earned more. Someone said I thought you loved your job why did you choose to go self-employed? I did actually really love my job I had nothing against it. I just couldn't keep up both. The way that my mind was working at the time was like look I am in a strong position I've got a good job I've got a good CV like I'm probably gonna always be able to get a job if it came to that but this bus that is the self-employed running a business and working in management is like is going whether I'm on it or not so I need to get on it right now <laughs> there's no like negative reason why I left my job other than that I just couldn't do both what has been the hardest thing so far about working for yourself i think okay so when you work for yourself nobody's nobody's checking in on you and you've not got any set hours it leads to extreme behaviors both ends of the spectrum so you can work 24 hours a day seven days a week but on the other hand you can also do nothing and striking that balance i've struggled with quite a lot but in terms of like career progression and development and growth it's very easy to get by when you're self-employed because you just have to do what you need to do to get the money that you need to earn but then on the other hand you can also like massively burn the candle at both ends and do way way, way, way too much that leads on to another question which is right next to this one is like do you miss the structure of having a more traditional job yes sometimes but what i am really trying to focus on at the minute is like to build my own structure in my life and how cool is it that i can go do a gymnastic session 10 o'clock three hours but then do an extra couple of hours of work on my laptop from 8 till 10 p.m if i want to do you have any regrets is a cool question i don't think so i don't think there's any point ever in having any regrets because it's happened and we can't affect it i've had a great year and i think my caption to my instagram post that i did yesterday about some sort of the extremes of working too hard not working enough training too hard not training enough doing one thing not doing enough is like that's how i felt in the last year and it's a bit of a whirlwind and a bit of a mind sweep but of the most part i've honestly had the best year I've gone crazy i've knuckled down when i needed to I'm, I'm in a position now where i'm like looking at what the next year is gonna look like and hold and i'm excited about it i'm really excited about it but there's a few sort of little transitions that i need to make in what i'm doing and how i'm doing it lots of people saying is it worth the stress what were you panicking about etc etc depends what your stress is i didn't really feel stressed because i knew financially i'd be okay i knew that i'd quite enjoy sort of having my own time and building my own life around my own days and i knew that i loved what i was gonna do so like didn't really feel stress at all because now i'm spending yeah i might be spending more time working or longer days or doing whatever and having to sort and fend for myself but i absolutely adore it so define stress for yourself and define what might make you worried about taking that leap and then depending on what that is maybe question and ask am i therefore making a right choice why why do you want to go self-employed find your why do you earn well enough to survive is on there i'm still alive a year later so i must have earned enough to survive <laughs> thank god something you know now that you wish you'd have learned sooner is another great question i just think be responsible you can sit dwell on the fact that you've not got people checking in on you you've not got the structure or you've not got this you've not got that it's, it's on you now you've made the decision to become self-employed if you feel like you're missing anything in your life or from your previous job or you're struggling with something like it's on you to make it right whether it's to get someone to help you whether it's to structure your own days whether it's to take charge and do what you gotta do but if you're making the decision then it's it's then on you to go you know what this is how it's gonna work and this is how i'm gonna push forward with it all is how do you stay motivated when you're working for yourself i think this links back to a previous question i think it's super important to find your why and why um you're going self-employed and why it is that you're doing what you're doing i stay motivated because i absolutely love what i do and i know what i want to achieve and I've got lots of mini whys within different areas of my work of the things that I want to achieve and I think about them and I visualise them and I talk about them and therefore staying motivated super easy because you know what you're getting up to do and what you sat down at your laptop or filming your content or running your business you know what it is that you're trying to achieve so I think finding that why and breaking it down thinking about the tangible steps is like one of the biggest ways that I stay motivated is there still any regrets or, or things that scare 
scare you about being self-employed i do always i think i'm gonna battle always with sort of the different ends of the spectrum the all or nothing having to fend and find your own way what is the optimum amount of work how you should be working where you should be working what you should be doing it'll get easier and i'm still trying to pave the pathway of who i want to become and what i want to achieve longer term one thing that doesn't actually worry me that maybe should is financials i just think i'm always being a great saver on my life and i'll just always find a way to do what i need to do either by changing my lifestyle or changing my work habits to ensure that i'm never going to get myself into any financial troubles last but not least question then is what advice would you give somebody who is self-employed or is thinking about self-employment the first thing i would say is really 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 make sure one it's what you want and two you can afford it you like you're financially stable like you're in a position where you're not gonna struggle because you think if you've got such a big change in your life which does throw you a little bit for a period of time and then you're struggling financially like you don't know what you want to do and you don't know if you're gonna be able to pay your rent at the end of the month that is just a recipe for a stress bomb yeah so really really make sure you know why it's what you want to do and you know that like financially you're gonna be super safe and stable with it my second thing would be try your best to um pave your own structure really really get some structure into your days and your weeks and know what it is that you need to do why you need to be doing it and when you need to be doing it um because i think that massively helps there's a lot of unknown at the start and also am i doing too much am i not doing enough you're likely going to do too much initially because i just think everyone does you go from a 9.5 to a 24 7 pretty much so therefore sometimes you've got to tape it back sometimes you've got to put the foot on the gas but really think about why you're doing what you're doing um and when you should be doing it i think is is really important so gain and grab that structure cheeky plug to maximize your mornings because i think morning routines and setting yourself up right at the start of the day is important imperative big word for that and then my last piece of advice would just be live your truth own it be the person you want to be and do your best it's not gonna go perfectly you're gonna fuck up and that's life but as long as you get up every day you give it another go you get a little bit better you're living your truth and being the person that you want to be and know you can be you can't go far wrong hopefully this has been insightful to people you've enjoyed it if you've got any other questions in the comments let me know if you've enjoyed this more sit down q a style video again let me know i can do more sort of business business um q a's and talk a bit more about my work and my job i'd really like that actually i'll show you a bit more behind the scenes of my job so yeah do let me know check out all the links in the descriptions everything down there to everything you might need it's going to be linked See you in the next video. Keep smashing it and remember anything is possible. If you just look. Bye guys!